On this channel, there's been many occasions where I've made videos about new battery technology. Now, there's always naysayers saying that won't work, that won't work because of whatever. Battery technology rarely ever makes any difference. Well, actually, you're wrong. Sodium ion batteries are about to hit the market in force. In fact, they have been the main driver for lithium coming down in price by 50%. There is new battery technology, new lithium technology coming to market on mass this year, but you probably haven't heard of new water batteries. Scientists say they actually work. And water is so abundant that these batteries could end up being the cheapest batteries in history. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. This is the channel that talks about battery technology electric cars and the future of the automotive industry, which is much cloudier. In fact, it's it's on a crazy precipice right now. It's headed to possible disaster. The automotive industry, remember, is a $4 trillion market. It employs millions and millions of people worldwide. And yeah, some companies will be bankrupt by 2030. Now, make sure you stay tuned to the channel as I'll have a lot more videos coming up about what is going on, who's in massive debt, the countries that are going to be screwed from all this. But first, this video is about this water battery technology. Scientists say they have found major storage capacity in water-based batteries, which is kind of amazing. Texas University scientists have been working with metal-free water-based battery electrodes, and they're finding that the difference in energy storage capacity is as much as 1,000%. That's, that's kind of hard to actually imagine. So how do they actually work? Well, in the scientist paper published in Nature Materials, the water-based or aqueous batteries consist of a cathode, the negatively charged electrode, an anode, the positively charged electrode, and an electrolyte. The traditional batteries right now have basically the same makeup. So these are basically the same. In this water-based battery, the cathodes and anodes though, are polymers that can store energy and the electrolyte is water mixed with organic salts. The electrolyte transfers the ions, the charge carrying particles back and forth between the cathode and the anode. And the electrolyte is also key to energy storage through its interactions with the electrode. Chemical engineering professor and co-author, Dr. Jody Lutkenhaus says this, if an electrode swells too much during cycling, then it can't conduct electrons very well. You lose the performance. There is, in my belief, a 1000% difference in energy storage capacity depending on the electrolyte choice because of the swelling effects. According to their paper, Electric says that the electrodes the redox active non-conjugated radical polymers are promising candidates for water-based batteries because of the polymer's high discharge voltage and fast redox kinetics. However, the researchers say in the paper's extract, little is known regarding the energy storage mechanism of these polymers in an aqueous environment. The reaction itself is complex and difficult to resolve because of the simultaneous transfer of electrons ions and water molecules. So there's a long way to go for these batteries to be the real thing, but the potential here is just astronomical. It's insane. I mean, just doubling the energy density of a battery would be an incredible feat, but they're saying there's way more potential than doubling, far more than that. So what's the future of these batteries? The researchers say that water-based batteries might be able to mitigate potential shortages of metals, of metals such as cobalt and lithium, as well as eliminate the potential for battery fires. One of the authors said, there would be no battery fires anymore because it's water-based. In the future, if material shortages are projected, the price of lithium ion batteries will go way up. If we have this alternative battery, we can turn to this chemistry where the supply is much more stable because we can manufacture them here in the United States when we have the materials to make the batteries here. The researchers also conducted computational simulation and analysis. They'll carry out further simulations to better understand the batteries. 
The co-author of the study said this, with this new energy storage technology, this is a push forward to lithium free batteries. We have a better molecular picture of what makes some battery electrodes work better than others. And this gives us strong evidence of where to go forward in materials design. Now, my summary of all of this is that, um, sorry to say, this is one of those cases where lots of hype, people will talk about this, the media will talk about it, it ain't legit. The people doing this study don't actually understand the market, unfortunately. They don't understand that we don't really need as much lithium as what people think. Why? Because sodium ion batteries are here. Yes, those batteries, unlike what the media is telling you, will be used in EVs. The media is saying they won't be, there's not enough energy density, but there is. What that will mean is we'll simply use lithium or lithium hybrid sodium batteries for more expensive or mid-priced EVs with longer ranges and sodium batteries for more affordable EVs. This frees up enough lithium. And of course, it's worth considering the fact that newer lithium batteries use less lithium. Once the battery is using a high proportion of manganese, you can therefore use substantially less lithium. Now, the reason the price of lithium has gone down by more than 50% this year is because the actual demands on lithium are far less than the industry thought they were. Now, is there a massive demand for lithium? Absolutely, it's just not as much as we thought. And because in combination with sodium, there is now clearly enough battery materials all around the world for all the batteries we need. We don't actually need to say, well, here's a new battery. We should use it simply because it won't catch fire. Why do I say that? Well, new batteries very rarely catch fire. Solid state batteries will never catch fire. Sodium ion batteries also will probably never catch fire either. Battery technology has come a long, long way. I think a lot of these sort of scientists and chemists working on this stuff maybe don't have a full understanding of the electric car and the storage picture. Energy storage and battery packs used in electric cars will not be likely to trend towards some kind of radical new water-based battery. But what we're gonna to continue to see is sodium and lithium batteries improve their chemistries refine themselves, become more energy dense, become more efficient, and also become more recyclable. Now let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.